fact, he represented Puerto Rico in Athens before turning pro only this January. It's Juan Manuel Lopez. He hails from the same town as the man topping the bill here, Miguel Cotto. But could he put in a performance at Super Bantamweight to steal the show in Bayamon by making short work of Ivan Cordero? Electric start to the career of Juan Manuel Lopez. It took just 66 seconds for the Puerto Rican super bantamweight to dispatch his first foe. How will he deal with Ivan Cordero, who's had as bad a beginning as Lopez has had good? Two first round defeats for Cordero. A little bit of a tale of mixed fortunes there. Yep, they're both sides of the game. Well, uh, Lopez has a, a wide stance with a southpaw stance, so he fancies himself as a puncher. He's setting himself already, so doesn't look like the kind of young man who wants to hang around. Concentration already, moving forward in the red and white trunks, his second fight. Cordero backing off with his chin in the air, yep, yeah, just took the words right out of my mouth. Cracking left hook from Juan Manuel Lopez and Cordero may struggle to make this count he's on very shaky legs it's over again a one round win for Juan Manuel Lopez two fights two victories two stoppages in the opening round welcome to the pros yep exactly quite soon I think they're going to have to they're going to have trouble matching this young man will have to step him up slightly but uh, Cordero was asking for trouble, his chin was unprotected right from the first bell and uh, I could see it coming and there it was. Perfect finish. Yep, I mean you could see he was looking for the knockout shot right from the bell, El Lopez, the wide stance moving forward all the time, definitely natural power and that was a nice finish, that'll do his confidence, no harm whatsoever. They were cheering that time. That's what they pay their money for. True, and another Olympian, and uh, but one who's a natural puncher. Mm -hmm. You can see by his body, he's so long and loose, and uh, two knockouts out of two so far, and he's looking very, very good. Can't judge much by that, of course, but we know he's got power. Yeah, I think I agree with Nick. I think he's got tremendous potential as a professional. He's a banger, natural Puerto Rican banger, likes to come forward, get the job done. What about the attitude, Barry, of all these young men when they t take their first steps in, in professional mm -hmm. boxing? Yeah. It's not often you see that, is it, when you actually hit the guy Good in the balance. throat, yeah. underneath his chin. But he's a tremendous, powerful puncher, and, and they're taught properly out there. And as I say, their style seems to suit the professional game more. Uh, they can really bang, they're taught to, to hit with tremendous power, and sl be slick and tight, and when they finish punching, tuck up. Really good technique there. He, you know, he, he waited for the for the jab from his opponent, leaned to the left, and then came straight back with the left cross. Really good boxing. Do you agree with Barry as well that he seems to be made for the professional? Yeah, he was game. outpointed in the Olympics, and that didn't suit him. He's, uh, he's and in, I think it was the first round, the first, first round of matches. First round of matches. Yeah. That's right against a Belarusian, which they're very good, of course. But he obviously is uh, he's a stalking uh, sort of boxer. Comes forward, waits for the opponent to attack, and then counters really well in the Cotto mold, even. Well, let's hope so. Certainly, Juan Manuel Lopez, the name there. One more local hope, the heavyweight on the show here, Victor Bisbal. He is a stablemate of Miguel Cotto. He too appeared in the Olympics before turning pro. This was his second outing, and no doubt about it, the crowd wanted him to make short work of Jose Lugo. We join this in the first round. Bisbal is in the white. Bisbal represented Puerto Rico in last year's 